notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. Well, that's Keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help. Right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... My choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett? Fratelli Traderi Traer. Yes. Warnings. Terrible. Unvesagens are valerians. In living death. The prophecies are clear. There is much ahead to be wary of. Interpreter Kataka, your words are most useful. To clear as mud. Exactly what will happen? And what are we supposed to do about it? I'm still waiting to see a useful book. We must first understand the unwritten times, if we are to prevent them. First Keeper Orland demands immediate audience. You've moved up in the world, Orland. Nice view. Yes, I have. It's First Keeper Orland now, Garrett. Within these walls, you answer to me. You called me here to remind me you're in charge? The job must not keep you very busy. You inquired about books. Useful books. That's right. You must have something in here worth reading. You think you might shape events more skillfully? 
Read the signs more clearly. The prophecy Shape events? Interesting way to put it. I'm here now. Do you want my help or not? Very well. This will admit you to certain areas of the library. Do not venture further. You will not ply your trade here, thief. If anything happens, you will be held accountable. Is this clear? Perfectly. Perhaps you should translate for Kataka. Silence. Kataka is about to begin. When the progress of time ceases, the one will be appointed. No, no. Cor malus reportorta in visita bloom. The evil ones will be pointed out for all to see. When the progress of time ceases, what could it mean? We must wait and watch. The meaning of the prophecy will become clear in time. Wait? After I found your precious book? No. When time stops, the evil will be pointed out, or whatever she said. Don't you want to know what we're up against? <laughs> what would you do? Stop time with your bare hands? You cannot make the prophecies come to pass, thief. It is folly to think so. You can't. But maybe I can. I could break into the clock tower in Stone Market. Find some way to... stop the clock from running. Perhaps the Stone Market clock could be considered a symbol of time. What if you are suggesting sabotage? You would accomplish nothing. Except further enraging the Hammerites. With Kataka so close to discovering the Brethren and Betrayer, Garrett. I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. That's your job. Fool! I forbid you to go to the clock tower or to interfere with the prophecy in any way. You forget. I don't take orders from you. He has left the First Keeper, Olin. Yes. I can see that. Kataka? <gasps> Keeper Orland! Kataka is dead. M murdered. I went to bring her the copy of Moran she requested, but then her door was open. She never leaves it open. I looked in and... and Garrett has killed interpreter Kataka, you say? Seize him and bring him to the council room. This is the only murder in our ranks since these halls were founded by the first of our ancestors. But Garrett had no reason to kill Kataka. Has he not walked in line with the prophecies before? Yet some say the prophecies point to him as brethren and betrayer. Surely he knew that the answer yes. Garrett killed Constantine. Yes, and Karis as well. His hands long... A thief. And no stranger to murder is. not match the manner in which Kataka was killed. How could Garrett have been the one? Remember who... that we asked Garrett to join us, to share his knowledge and skill. But now we turn upon him without proof. Broken and, and destroys the clock tower. Petty vandalism. Notice that the clock tower does appear that way from some angles. We must consider the implications. If that prophecy Any refers to one of the clock of... tower is irrelevant. The matter at hand is murder done by one who we accepted as our guest and brother.
proceedings are highly irregular. I have heard enough! Garrett, have you anything to say before sentence is passed? You haven't listened to anyone else yet, Orland. Why start now? Silence! You are declared guilty of Interpreter Kataka's murder. Your punishment will be determined by the Council. Now remove him! I regret to inform you that Garrett has escaped. Very good. Call together the Keeper Enforcers. They will track him down and erase our problem. Taking a break from trying to kill me? Not all Keepers believe you are guilty, Garrett. But neither had we the evidence to alter the outcome of your trial. The trial was a disgrace. Orlando's not fit. He knows he must replace Kataka, so he plans to promote that... that child, Gamal, to the position of interpreter. So you formed your own little club. There are others, too. The Keeper hierarchy is... in flux. We know Orlin tried to frame you, but we cannot discern his motives. Huh, that's easy. Orlin is the brethren and betrayer, and he knew Kataka was on to him. He needed to kill her before she announced his name, and thought he could get rid of me at the same time. That is only one of many possibilities, Garrett. He has suppressed all inquiries into the Clock Tower prophecy. Have you heard? From above, the rubble forms an arrow, and it points directly at the Keeper Library. The evil one will be pointed to. It is as if someone actively seeks to bring the Dark Age upon us. There is... a corruption. Whenever the glyphs... Keeper Artemis hasn't been seen since before the trial. He confided in me that he no longer knew who to trust. He acted strangely, so... secretive. But he was right. There is no way to know who to trust. The degree to which the glyphs... Orland fears you still, and he will until the Enforcers bring him your corpse. He has used a binding glyph to seal every glyph door in the whole city. He is watching all of us. Until you are found, no one is allowed to enter or leave the compound. We've been using Orland's own secret tunnel. It connects the compound to his office in the library. There is much danger, but it is the only way we can meet without being Perhaps heard. we can help you. The Keeper Assassins won't have given up and... <laughs> You've helped me already. Why? What do you intend to do? Find some proof that Orland is guilty. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh? Where do you think you will find this... proof? Garrett? This is the place, all right. Why do I smell a rat? Terminus animus. Take the power, the glyphs, the bindings, live, walk, talk, and obey! Yes, my will, my desires. Terminus, Animus, awake! Garrett is here among you somewhere. Seek. Fetch. Find him out. Crush him till breathing stops. Cut him till bleeding stops. Do not let him escape. Yes. I must leave you my helpers, my minions, my stone warriors, and secret myself away. Yes. 
Yes, must keep secret. Must stay hidden a little while longer. Oh, so many secrets. This place hath nothing of value for thee to steal. I'm more interested in those papers of yours. If they can tell me anything about a, a crone that talks to statues. Thou hast seen the hag? Not just seen. She tried to kill me. But I hear you've been trailing her for years. Yea, I hath followed her trail, but it hath not been clear. I hath even doubted, anon, that her crimes weren't more than my own imaginings. Thou hast seen her as well. Twas in my boyhood, in the orphanage known as the Shalebridge Cradle, that I spied her. I did play at a game with mine friend, and I was hidden, and my friend sought me. Then a hag, a bent in evil apparition, came from the darkness, near enough to touch, and my friend did scream. But I was a child, and and afraid, and then it was over. The orphanage grew a dark and haunted place, and now none dare enter. When came I to my manhood, and was saved by the order of the hammer, I sought the hag again. The hag who wears death about her as a cloak. Some who meet her doth vanish, others perish with bloody work done upon their bodies. There are hints spoken of creatures made of stone, and ever the tale of a hag, a bent old woman, ever old, but growing no older, in a span that has taken me from boyhood to mine own age. And you tell me how to find her? She finds her prey now in Aldale, but was in Shalebridge her murders didst begin. Seekest thou a start upon her trail there? Tis the only place I have there spied her for certain, but I dare never return to that place. That's a good place to start looking. I have no interest in being the latest in her string of murders. Let the Book of Names record that on this day did Translator Gamal take the name of Interpreter Gamal and begin to read the prophecies. Let her eyes open to read and to see. Let her tongue speak the words of the glyphs. I shall see the unseen. I shall speak the truth. Interpreter Gamal, what's wrong? Oh, look. No, no. Curse her stinking, rotting bones. You think you can snare me, trap me with your secrets? I am secret, kept for decades. You scratch out glyphs and think you have them, but I wear them, drink them, breathe them, know them far better than you. I am glyphs now and for all time. I'm me again. She can't use it anymore. Finally, now you see me. My skin, my bone as I am. You will not live to thwart me. I have 
gather for thy need. Talismans, tomes, artifacts, writings. I have them beyond your grasp. I trace, I discover, I read. And soon I shall come to the last of all glyphs that you seek. Unfortunately, the enforcers are quite ineffectual against her. So, what are you gonna do? She's found the final glyph. Final glyph? The last of all glyphs. It's a very powerful weapon. She will undoubtedly... Activate it. And in doing so, wreak untold suffering. And also ensure her complete invulnerability for all time. Keeper Orland, the treasures are gone. Gamal has taken the chalice and the paw. Gone? The artifacts? Then it was Gamal who wanted them, not... not Kataka. You see, I... I received these notes that... I thought that they were from Kataka, until they kept coming, even after she was dead. It appears we have made things easy for Gamal. But what does she intend to do with the artifacts? There is no way to know, except... She must have a hidden lair, some place where she has taken our missing books. You could find it, Garrett. A thief could find it. Her lair? Yeah, I have an idea where it might be. Then you must go. Go now and kill her. If only you could find a way to destroy the final glyph. Make sure it can never be activated. Let me see if I've got this right. You want me to find Gamal's lair? Learn what she wants your treasures for, kill her, and find and destroy this final glyph? Anything else? How dare you act so high and mighty! Enough speeches, Orland. You've already had your turn. Yet, there is truth in his words. A sequence of events was started when you stole the chalice and the paw. The glyphs did warn us. Right. Glyphs. As if I could forget. I thought I told you I don't like being followed. Our separate paths have converged, Garrett. We both seek the same thing. Hmm. I suppose if you were working for Gamal, you would have tried to kill me just now. Tried? I would have succeeded. Look around us, Garrett. This is Gamal's secret library. Here she has been lurking, plotting, and for much longer than just one lifetime. She has used the glyphs to extend her life. And there's more. You've been reading, Artemis. Yes, we are fortunate. In these books, Gamal has documented her plans carefully. But the meaning of that map... is not yet clear to me. Chalice, crown... These things are marked with the names of the artifacts. These books... Some have been missing for months. Some, maybe years. She does not say what the final glyph does, only that she will become undefeatable once she... The Aldale Plaza. The South Quarter Fountain. Well, now we know what to do with the artifacts once we have them. They fit into those landmarks somehow. She has been gaining knowledge. While our ignorance grew. Do the books say where she is now? The remaining treasures they are at the museum. She hopes to gather them all at once. And when she has them, she'll activate this... The last of all glyphs. No, no. The books are very clear on that. She intends to destroy it. When she has all the treasures, 
She'll have the power to do just that. The last glyph is the only thing she fears. Well, that and you, my friend. Destroy it? But that's what Orland and the others told me to do. Half-truths from the Keepers? Why am I not surprised? For the Council to still employ subterfuge, with all that's at stake. I will go to Orland myself and get the truth from him. You should go to the museum and steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal gets to them. Then let us meet back at Stone Market Plaza, in Garrett. If you come face to face with Gamal, you must understand. With her power over glyphs, she is all but indestructible. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Artemis? Artemis, what are you doing here? I have figured it all out, Garrett. The artifacts. Give them to me. I will show you all the answers. What do you mean, give them to you? Did you find Orland? What's wrong with you? Artemis! And Garrett! I'm glad that I caught up with you. I was... You were right, Artemis. I have lost my balance. Your words kept at me, nagging, even after you had gone. It was the glyphs. Their draw has been too powerful to us. Once we used them to be keepers of the city, but now what do we keep safe? An empty box, a book of blank pages. You speak nonsense, Orland. No, no, you were right. I've been refusing to see. The clock tower, I thought it pointed to me, but it meant all of us. Finally, I understand why the glyph prophecies can no longer see into the future. Return to the library, Orland. Now is not the time. The glyphs have become our keepers. We can no longer use them to protect our interests. We must tell Garrett the truth. My friend. Garrett, what we told you. You are the one who must use the artifacts. That much is true. But you are not to destroy the final glyph. No, you must... Yes, oh. yes. Begin to deliver. But still one step behind. Your keeper, Artemis. Convenient to use his form to take the artifacts from you. His life, mine. Mine now. And yours. There. No! Let them lose hiding. A thousand eyes I have to spy after you. No use running, fleeing. A thousand legs at my bidding. I will prevail. I have lived years, decades, centuries. I will live forever. If I never see another glyph again, it'll be too soon.
returned his chalice to us. Then Jack Null's paw, it becomes he back to us. It's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. You have talent. It's no easy thing to see a keeper, especially one who does not wish to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> 